message. The Holy Quran mentions recounts of stories of previous nations that received prophets and messengers to convey God's message. But the people rejected, disobeyed, and denied the truth. God sent his prophet Noah to his people where he preached for 950 years. He called people to worship one God and follow his commandments, but only a few believed in his words. His people denied and mocked him. Most seriously, Prophet Noah was sent by God with a clear warning that many denied. After the denial, the people that disbelieved were destroyed in a flood. Prophet Hud, Eber in English, was sent to an ancient tribe called Ad, who was believed to have made their home in the curved sand hills of Oman and Yemen. They worshipped idols as gods, which they believed would provide them with happiness and wealth and protect them from evil, harm, and all catastrophes. The people of Prophet Hud were very tall, strong, and well-built. They would boast about and tyrannize people with their huge size. They were well known to build lofty towers, thus their land became known as the land of a thousand pillars. God blessed them with fertile land and abundant agriculture, many children and an ample supply of livestock, and easy access to water resources. They mistakenly believed that the purpose of life was to accumulate wealth, prestige, and live in luxury. Prophet Hud commanded them to fear God and be righteous. Their prophet advised them to seek God's forgiveness for their heedlessness and arrogance, saying that God would reward them by increasing their power, strength, and wealth. However, seeking themselves as the most powerful nation in existence, the people rejected their prophet's message. Soon afterward, the people of Hud suffered a three-year famine and drought which devastated the once green, fertile, and abundant land. The burning heat changed to furious, violent winds which God imposed on them for seven nights and eight days. The winds ripped apart their homes, possessions, and even the skin on their bodies. Their crops were swallowed and buried by the sands of their desert. Only Prophet Hud and his small band of believers were saved and are believed to have migrated to the Hadramaut area. This brings us Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.